Let's now look at part three, where we are adding speech recognition to our Telegram bot. First, we'll add to our existing check command node that will determine if the user has recorded a voice message. We'll check to see if the message text is empty to detect this case. If we detect that it is indeed a voice message, we'll go down this path so that we download the voice message using the Telegram uh, ability to do that. And then we'll use the OpenAI Whisper model to convert voice to text. And then we'll pass that into ChatGPT API for response, which then we'll send as a Telegram reply. Now there's a couple more nodes in this flow that I haven't shown here that we'll cover. Uh, one is in here and the other one is in here. They're just to transform the data so that it's in the right form. So we'll go through that in more detail next. All right, so let's start here with the Telegram trigger. So what I'm gonna do is just to listen to what happens uh, to, um, uh, what does N8N to N, uh, get when Telegram receives a uh, voice message, All right, So I'm gonna listen for this event. And in another window, I'm going to go to my Telegram app and say, what is the capital of France? All right, so what we see here is uh, Telegram has sent ante to n a message, and this message contains this information here, right? Notice that we have, uh, similar to other uh, other cases, the chat ID, but notice that the voice here, this is new, all right? So this is what it sent, uh, but it, the other thing that it hasn't sent is um, a, a uh, text field because it's not text. So what we're gonna do is to take that information and we need to do a little bit of uh, data editing. All right, so I'm gonna add this field. This field uh, is, uh, this node is an edit field. So basically uh, it allows us to um, take information and uh, make some changes to that information. Okay, so here what I wanna do is I wanna uh, add a field and I'm gonna say that uh, this field is message text. So in this message.txt, uh, in this field message, there's no uh, text when I uh, send a voice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say a slight, a slight amount of code here, but it's not complicated. So basically what I'm saying here is that uh, if the input uh, does not have uh, message text or it, this field is not there, I'm just going to set the field to an empty string. Right? That way I can uh, go through my flow and, and determine if it's a, a voice field. Right? So I'll go ahead and execute that. And so notice here, the output of this uh, node will have a empty uh, text field. So this was inserted. All right, now I'm going to add this into my flow, into my check command, and I'm gonna modify my check command, right? So um, inside my check command, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this, um, this, this uh, regular expression match. So let me just delete that and add that here. So I'll add the routing rule. Let me delete that add the routing rule. So this is a regular expression match. So regular expression is just a pattern matching scheme. So in this case, how I express uh, finding an empty string is this syntax here. So if it is empty, then I'm going to output the route one, and then I'm going to uh, bring back my previous one where uh, I say if it does not contain slash image, I'm just going to go uh, to my regular text text to text. All right. So I'm going to output two. All right, so I'm gonna execute this node because this text here is empty, right? It's gonna output one. So I'll execute this node and the output should be one, all right? So, all right, so it's gonna go here, okay? All right, so now I'm going to uh, add in my Telegram node and I'm gonna 
get a file. Okay, so get a file. All right, so what I'm going to do here is connect it to number one here. All right, so again, here's the flow. Uh, I have the, um, a, a voice message. This is going to be edited such that the message text field is uh, empty. So when it's empty, um, which means it's a voice message, it's going to go into uh, the first condition. And then I'm going to now then download this. Okay, so I'm going to take my file from Telegram and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to take this file ID here and download it. All right, so I'll execute this node and it's downloaded. Great. Next, uh, I've got this voice file now. I'm going to uh, now do a speech to text. All right, so speech to text, I'm going to use a HTTP request. So this is, um, I'm going to call into OpenAI. And this is um, the, the uh, the URL that does the transcriptions from speech to text. And it's going to be a post method. I'm going to authenticate using a predefined credential type, which is already set for me from any 10. So we have the OpenAI one here, OpenAI. And then I've got my credentials here. All right, I'm going to send it some parameters. So the parameter is going to be a form type. And the first thing I'm going to do is tell it what kind of model it is. So this is my whisper model. So that's the name of its speech to text. And then I'm going to send it uh, some binary data. So this binary data is uh, basically a file. All right. And that file is going to be the, the data that I have here. All right. So uh, I've downloaded from Telegram, and then I'm going to send this uh, binary information that contains my voice, and then it's going to send it into my speech to text. So let's go in here and edit and execute that. And it's got this uh, text, what is the capital of France, which is why I input it. All right, so now I'm going to go to my next node. My next node will come from another edit field. So I'm going to add it here. And let me tell you what I'm trying to do here. So this, this request will return a, uh, a text response. But if I go into here, it's uh, expecting it in a slightly different format. So there's a message.txt in here, because in the other path here, this is where the that's the, the format of the message. So I'm just going to use this as a as the a way to to adjust um, the input format. All right, so I'll connect it here, and I'm going to say in the message .x, I'm going to set message .x, and then I'm going to take the uh, input from from this uh, response here. So JSON.x. So let's just run through this uh, with it with data. So I'll listen for a message. What is the capital of France? All right, so it's got this uh, data for me. And then I'll just execute through and get to the proper node so that we have all the data. All right, I'm going to go into here now, and I have this text field. All right, so what I'll do is I will just drag it, drop into here. All right, so what I'm saying is that um, I'm going to output message.txt so that it's consistent with the other flow, and I'm going to set it to the value text. All right, so when I execute this, it's transformed this uh, text output into uh, prefix that with message text. All right, so the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can hook up uh, both this path and this path into uh, one common node. I, I could equally have just copied this and put it into here, and then uh, you know simplified that a little bit. But uh, just in terms of uh, making it a little easier to uh, maintain this flow, I, I, I did this uh, modifier here. All right, and then I'm just gonna now uh, execute this, and then all right, I get my text reply. In this part of the tutorial. We're going to add text to speech to complete the flow of the Telegram AI bot. So we'll be able to speak to the bot and have it answer back with speech, providing for a very natural and intuitive experience. We'll add two more nodes to our flow, one using the OpenAI text to speech API and the other to send the voice back to the Telegram chat channel. Let's take a quick look at the text to speech API that we'll use for the HTTP node. You can see from the above URL the endpoint for the uh, CreateSpeech API. 
the first uh, parameter to this endpoint is model. And we have two choices uh, to choose from. One is TTS1. This is the latest text-to-speech model, and it's optimized for speed. And the other one, TT-1-HD. This is optimized for quality. For input, this is where you supply the text that you want to generate. And voice, you have several choices of voices to choose from, some male, some female. And then uh, this is optional in terms of the uh, respo uh, response format. It supports a number of audio formats. And then lastly, the speed uh, in which um, you, you want uh, the speech to be outputted. And then, of course, it returns the audible file. OK, let's start building. I'm going to add first my HTTPS mode. And in here, I'm going to use the post method. I'm going to specify the endpoint that we saw in the API documentation. The authentication is already predefined, and it's open AI. I had defined the credentials before. I'm going to select send body. As I saw in the API documentation, I'm going to use model TTS1 for optimized for speed. And I'm going to use my voice to be alloy. I can use a couple other choices from the documentation. And then I'm going to use the input parameter here as well. But uh, to get the value, I need to hook it up into the flow. So let's go ahead and hook this up to the flow first. I will do this, hook it up. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and test the this uh, workflow. All right, so I'm going to press this test of the workflow. It's going to wait for uh, a message from my Telegram bot. I'll provide the message, and I'll let this run through. So I'll start test workflow. So it's listening. I'm going to go to back to my Telegram bot, and I'm going to say, what is the capital of France? All right, so you can see executing, executing across now. All right, now this node will have uh, data now, all right? So what I want is the content, uh, the output of um, the, the chat uh, GPT uh, reply. So I'll drag this into here, all right? And then I'm going to say test step. All right, now it's now taking the output, uh, the capital of uh, Francis Paris, and then I'm going to, uh, it's now generated a, um, a audio file, all right? So that's good. I'm going to now add in uh, my Telegram output. So in this Telegram output, I'm going to search for send an audio file. All right, so the send audio file, uh, I'm simply going to say that uh, it's a binary file, right? And it's coming from the previous uh, node. And the chat ID. Uh, this is the chat ID of uh, the Telegram session. So I can just get it right from the Telegram trigger, right? And it's the chat ID here. So I'll go ahead and get that. All right, and I'll do a test step. And uh, it, it'll have the output uh, that I want, All right? The capital of France is Paris. <laughs> 